Hello there, students. It is February. We made it to February. The days are getting longer. This is week five of the spring semester, February 1st through 5th. Um, yeah, like I said, days are getting longer. Actually, interesting thing, um, February 2nd is called Groundhog Day, and I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I've never been to Punxsutawney, which is a little town in Pennsylvania where they have this great celebration. I just did a quick Google search. You can you can look up Punxsutawney or Punxsutawney Phil. Um, interestingly, uh, actually, I mean, look at that. That's great. Anyway, he's the prognosticator of an early spring or a typical late spring. Um, and, and they're live streaming it. How cool is that? Look, he's got 427 subscribers. And just for you, for my students, I approved this channel. So that way you could set your calendar and you'd be like, okay, Tuesday, February 2nd, I can watch this live when you're getting up in the morning. Anyway, um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, again, please, if you need um, to meet with me on something, go to your calendar feature. Let's just do that right now. Let's go to your calendar feature. Uh, and find an appointment and book me. Office hours are Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, and Thursday afternoon, plus your live classes on Tuesday for those, uh, for those special classes I have. The other thing I wanted to show you is, you know, when you log into Canvas, um, it has a list of things to do or upcoming on the right-hand side. Obviously, if you have a lot of online classes, it can be a bit overwhelming. So make sure you X these things out. When you've done them, like cut them, knock them out. Be done with it. That's really important. The other thing is in my classes, let me just drop down here to uh, Algebra B here, spring semester. Under, you land on this course page. If you go to le resume learning, of course, it takes you to your modules. The second module in every course that I've published is called Resources. And the very top one is a weekly pacing guide. And I, some of you may find that valuable. Basically, it's what's going on each week. But then for those of you who are trying to stay on pace, you can kind of see it as a block. Boom, these are the things that are required, not everything trying to muddle in your way. Um, and you can also work ahead. So again, algebra students, right? You got a little correlation causation, review and an exam this week. So you got a pretty busy week. I hope you find that helpful. Um, I hope you find Pugsatani Phil helpful. And uh, let me know if I can be helpful in any way. And I hope you're doing well.